Welcome to LJ's How To, everyone. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to force a 5G connection or 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz on a Verizon G3100 router. Now, this is a very popular and common router for a, uh, a Fios uh, connection, which is by Verizon. And um, so I, I actually got it hooked up and uh, noticed that all I had was one choice. Like, uh, it looks similar to this, like the 7X PX3. And, and I didn't see a choice between 5 gigahertz, which is faster, but doesn't go as far, or 2.4. So I found out why and how to change that. Let me uh, open up the window here. All right, so here's user manual right here. And you can download this on the Verizon site, I believe. And uh, we're going to go to page 52. And it's going to tell you why you will only see one selection and it's called self-organizing network or SON and what it does is it does the selecting of the uh, 2.4 or 5 gigahertz signals by itself and, and you know it just looks constantly for the best and most efficient connection even if it's between a 2.4 gigahertz and a 5 gigahertz signal and again the 5 gigahertz will give you a faster connection but it doesn't go as far so if you are a few uh, rooms away you won't uh, you might not be able to access your router the 2.4 travels farther but it is not as fast now I wanted to force uh, a 5 gigahertz connection um, in order to get a, um, a very significantly faster speed so basically here's what you do and i'll walk you through in a second in the app and actually you can log on with your browser or you can use an app on your phone to turn the son on and off and then if you you want you can also uh relabel your connections whatever you want or you can leave them but you will see the availability of the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz and on this router particularly the G3100 it will um, show two different 5 gigahertz connections so um, let's log in okay so we are now logged in and this is the uh, the address you go to on your computer on the same network probably best if you plugged in initially with a cat 5 or 6 cable and you type in my network settings.com and on a lot of browsers particularly Google Chrome you might get a warning because it's not secure but it's local so it's not like you're uh, you're accessing something out there on the internet this is actually a direct link to your router so um, if that was the case and it wasn't letting you access you click on advance and then click on allow it's usually the first time when you log on anyway okay so we are logged on and right now we are in the basic menu right here and what we want to do is go to advanced and click on advanced and then we go to Wi-Fi and you will see the um, the ability to turn SON or self-organizing network on or off and then you'll also see um, the three different um, selections uh, the first one is 2.4 I renamed this your router will probably have some combination of letters and numbers I renamed them just to make it easy to choose so I left the password the same and um, as you can see um, all that information is on your router where is it here here we go all right so you look for this label 
and it has <clears throat> the initial name when you get it, you know, first installed or, or when you first buy it. Um, that's S that is the SSID and then the password. And then when you go to my network settings, it's a separate password to do the administration. Okay. So, and you can also use the, uh, the Fios app, which I've downloaded onto my iPhone. All right. So here is the Fios app that I downloaded from the app store for the iPhone, probably the same for Android. And uh, this helps you manage your internet account, not your wireless account, just the internet. And on the bottom, you'll see internet, click that. And then you go uh, scroll down to advanced. And uh, you want to click on advanced. And that will give you the, um, the option to turn SON on or off. And you should see it uh, up there on top. And uh, there's probably a few different ways to navigate to this uh, setting on the app. So that's another way to do it. Okay, so I'm going to do a speed test right now and I'm going to show you the difference between 2.4 gigahertz connection and a five gigahertz. And this is why I like forcing a connection. So there's the router on the floor and the signal's gonna go right through and you'll you see my computer monitor back there it's not really a line of sight but it's probably i would say about 20 feet 25 feet away so let's go with the test now okay here we go uh going to the wi-fi connection and as you see there's two five gigahertz uh options and one 2.4 this is all from that same router so let's go to uh, speed test and we're going to start with the 5G connection. See how fast we got it. We got the door open now and I showed you how far away it was. Okay, so cooking along, not bad. 255 around download. 258 total and Upload, we're cooking along about 160. I went in, in the 150s. Okay, and now let's switch to, now that was 5 gigahertz. Let's switch to 2.4 and do a test on that. Here we go. Okay, big difference. Now, the 2.4 gigahertz signal is um, it's a larger wavelength, but, and it travels further, but as you see, it's not as efficient. We get some faster upload speeds going on, though. And, yeah, big difference between the 5 gigahertz connection, and that's why I wanted to force the 5 gigahertz gigahertz because sometimes with the self-organizing network it would bounce back and forth and you know choose the 2.4 um even though the, the 5 gigahertz was available so turn it off the uh the self-organizing network will let you be able to connect directly to the 5 gigahertz option so there you go if this video helped you out i would appreciate it if you click the like button all that blah 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 thanks for watching take care